Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo master nightfall on this week's nightfall audio, which is the Fallen Saber. As you can see, I'm doing it on Chaos Reach, which is Middle Tree Storm Call. It's a class I've used very little for solo nightfalls. I'm using a Barrier Sniper, I'm using the Succession, Limonarch for Overloads, and I'm using the Avalanche Machine Gun. I'm running a build of a charger light build, as you can see here by the modifiers of high energy fire, shield break charge, uh, elemental light because if I produce one, I'll get a boost to my abilities. I've got geomag stabilizers on, and I've got sniper ammo finder, scavenger, machine gun ammo finder, and scavenger. Now, the reason why I'm running these sorts of builds is the chaos reach because of last week's GM, I seen its merits and decided to give it a full go in a nightfall as opposed to the usual top tree void walker with conjurer holds on. And it worked a treat. The reason I've went with the avalanche machine gun is because one of the modifiers is all the shanks have solar shields, except for the exploders. So all the other shanks have solar shields. So I wanted something it could not only deal damage to some of the ads, but I wanted something to take their shields out, and what better than to have a machine gun to take out Shanks' shields. A little bit overkill, but I think you'll see it works really well here. So, the way we're going to do this first section is, obviously you're going to start it off, it is essentially a Warsat public event, with ships that will stay here and blast you. So what, what, what my plan is, as you can see here I'm putting down my rift, is I'm going to take the guns out from the ship, and now it's Five shots with a sniper takes the guns out. The The damage is shared amongst both the 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 guns, so it's not five shots on one in particular. And as you can see here, rather than change weapon, I decided just to uh, just to keep putting damage on with the machine gun so I didn't have to reload. The minute I got hit hard, I was backing up. So the way I do this is kind of, I take the, take the guns out, and then this is where I'm going to be attacking from. The reason why I've decided to come up the back, I, I, I've i done this Nightfall before, I used a completely different setup, but I, I figured this one this one really worked for this one, is because one of the modifiers is Chafe, or Chaff, whichever way you want to pronounce it, which basically we have no radar. So it makes it really difficult because there are invisible marauders here. One of the other modifiers is solar damage is increased and so is elemental so the ship's guns do more damage because they're, they're classed as like an elemental attack and the marauders the invisible marauders as you can see that's who i'm searching for i just caught a glimpse of one of them those resilient marauders they do, they've basically got lord of wolves same as the captains and they're invisible so it's really difficult to track them so i'm being a little bit careful here so the, the for the first wave See here, when the ads, majority of the ads go down, you're going to get more ads come in. But generally, what's going to happen is, you're going to get ads. You see here, that there doesn't seem to be very much around. I'm still being really careful because I don't know how many marauders actually come with each section. Once you clear your first section, then it's kind of linked to the, to the, the Warsat at about 33, 34. You see here, I see I've got invisible uh, marauders. Now we're going to get an, uh, an an overload with some marauders. So I just want to put a bit more space between myself and the ads. You see there that one, the, the, the kind of places where they always kind of settle. You see here, there's some red bars that will push you. It's really difficult to track them because it felt to me like I, could, I, like I was struggling to see them. Maybe it's because, you know, spec saver time or whatever. Maybe it's my eyesight. But... I found it really difficult to see them, especially here. They really blend in with them being invisible. You would expect it. Now, Lemon Arc from Devil's Lair. People were talking about how good this weapon was after Devil's Lair for overloads. Well, I'd never used it to take down overload champions, but I have used this weapon before for content. I'm a big bow fan. I love Lemon Arc. I always have. Uh... And, and, and as most people are going to know now, a great thing about it is, if you get that pull, that perfect pull, and you kind of know it, because when you pull it, it kind of, there's a, there's a kind of a, a kind of a heavy, bassy kind of, at the end of, at the end of the draw, there's a, like a real thick, bassy kind of sound effects, and that tells you 
that's when you know that's the perfect time you're going to do the biggest damage you're going to do with the bow when you hear that noise uh so when you when you get that and you get a headshot it explodes and and leaves like a a, a burn effect on the enemy that burn effect will stop an overload champion as well because of the overload bow with sunder and glare if you're far enough away i think it's a 10 you've got to be 10 meters away i think if you're far enough away the burn will also give crit numbers because if you can't if you're constantly headshotting then uh then you weaken the enemy and that's what sunder and glare does you weaken the enemy and you basically put uh, crit numbers on. So now what we've got coming in here is the initial threat is three snipers that always go here. You're going to have an arc shielded captain. So I'm just kind of pushing away. I don't want to be too kind of out in the open. There's the arc captain. I just took his shield down and used the avalanche, which may I add, performed amazingly. Now, I remember when the avalanche first came out during the dawn and a couple of years ago. It was a bit of a joke actually when it came out. I don't know if it's had a buff or whether it's just machine guns in general. I, I don't really know. But uh, it, it really packed a punch against elites. Obviously, I've got Vorpal and Autoload and Holster. So, no reloads needed. Another great thing about the Lemonot, and you'll see here perfectly, when it shares that damage, as long as it's not an elite, uh, as long as it's not an elite, that, that burn can will kill red bars. It's, it's very good. If you get that crit and you get that shared void explosion, uh, it's, it's, it's just an ad clearing monster, really. So as you can see in the background, we've now got a barrier. Now, I've took the, took the two ships out. I'm just trying to get headshots to share some damage. Uh, I always come back here to take the guns out from these two ships and then kind of, you know, I use that. If I need to, I use this as cover. But Lemonok really does a lot of, lot of good work sharing damage you just have to be careful that you don't commit too much to taking an ad down because the barriers will shield you see there at the back you might have just noticed i got another wave of ads coming in the the barrier champion is picking and choosing now who he's going to shield anybody i shoot at he's shielding so now i'm going to try and prioritize the barrier champion got got a Headshot, that's another drag down. Just trying to take trying to take ads that are shooting at me. I could have chaos reached all the ads. And I think what I'm gonna do is come up here and take out the barrier. As you can you'll see here how that's decent damage considering that, that I was under the impression that basically machine guns were a joke. That is good damage. So now I can mop up these ads. And, the, and another great thing is, it's the same with all kind of uh, area of effect damage. When you put burn on enemies, you can track them easier. So we know now there's just, I think there's just one or two ads left. And that will be those. We're going to get some more here. We get some snipers. So I'm just trying to get a, a good headshot uh, to share some damage. Another thing I would say, and you'll see me trying to do it, just use my machine gun just to kind of melt these ads. I'm trying not to stay on the plate because the last thing you want in this area is to be staying on the plate, progressing the plate, and have ship have ads in front of you and ships coming in behind you. So you can see I am running because there is a ship coming in. I got it to about 70, which is the, the target for the next ships. And there we go took the ship down but because I didn't actually stay on the plate I never got any ads so the ship came in but no ads so what's going to happen here is the ads going to drop in I'm just going to throw a grenade jump back let's see if the grenade can take some of the ads you are going to have in this wave you're going to have another overload so in the first wave you have an overload second wave a barrier third wave overload so we'll take out that now that we've took out the the servitor the servitor can't shield any of the ads we are going to get an arc arc shielded knight i think here as well now you'll see here i'm far enough away there are going to be some ads maybe pushing but i'm far enough away that if i constantly crit there we go i will weaken this 
this barrier and know all the burn damage, I'm getting yellow numbers. There we go. Really easy to take out once you pop pro that thunder and glare. It's really easy. You can see here I am being pushed by enemies. But because I'm, I'm high up, I get a decent, a decent view on what enemies are coming. Again, uh, have to watch out for the marauders. The marauders are, are the real danger point. Solar damage and environmental damage, as I've said, has increased. They do solar damage and they hit hard anyway. So I'm kind of like, oh, is there anything there? I'm looking at the usual areas, which is the, the high platform, the high ridge on the left, and the high ridge on the right is the normal kind of place that they like to hang about. So I'm just having a look. Anyway, it's wondering what's happening there. When I'm getting killed, sometimes I'm getting there's a stream of arc energy coming towards me. That's for my that will recap my ability my abilities. I'll just add to them. You see there that marauder? Just have to be careful for them. I think that might have been the last one. If you're unsure, just put your machine gun on when you push into this area. We are gonna get more ads. I'm just grabbing some ammunition. We're only at 77. As I say, some of these some of these waves are just they'll come anyway, but then there's waves that are linked. Uh just take out this uh captain. There are waves that are linked to how much damage uh uh, uh, how, mu how much you've charged the plate. I ran straight away because I seen invisibles. The minute I see invisibles, I'm 90% of the time, I'm just going back away. There is no point. You see there, I am quite far away, and even the shots from that distance are really hurting. There's a resilient drag and resilient uh, marauders. So I'm just, I'm being very, very careful here because, as I say, it's quite hard to track these these invisors. I'm looking at the usual places. Doesn't seem to be anything. We're at 90%. From this point on, if I'm going to get more ads, they should just be red bar, and I should only get a couple of them. So I'll just put a grenade down there. And just... I've just backed away. And there we go. The ship's gone. So we obviously aren't going to get any more ads. And that's this first area done. Now... What I should add about this run is, I actually die in this run, which normally, when I, uh, uh, and it doesn't happen, it doesn't, on, on successful runs, very rarely happens that I die during a successful run, because that's the point, I've learned it to the point where I can do it flawlessly. The reason why I've kept the death in here is because I actually completed the objective and it progressed the strike, so I figured it would be a cool thing to keep in just to show you guys that if you, as long as you do this one thing, you can still progress in the strike. So when you get in here, as you can see, you're going to get these exploders. Now, what I done here was I didn't really pay too much attention. You know, I took, tried to take a couple and then I pushed in here right to the back, had my machine gun out, put a grenade down and we can take out the exploders. Invisibles will spawn behind you, but if you've got your rift down, you'll be fine. And then I just put a couple of shots on and you'll see here, this is, stuff like this is exactly what the Limonarch is good at. There's a load of enemies out there that are all kind of huddled together, wanting me to share that damage. Look at that, look at those damage numbers just coming off of multiple enemies. Are we going to get any more? Any more for any more? Just absolutely melted. And I, and I was... I knew I was going to keep getting invisibles from behind. Now, you'll see here, there's only one of them. There was only one there shooting at me. There was more than one there. But there was only one shooting at me. And even just that one shooting at me can put me in trouble. So what you should be left with here now is a barrier, an overload... And some snipers. So there's the overload. The barrier will shield the overload. So you can see here, I go down here, they're all being shielded, a nice happy family. So I just toss a grenade out, and what I'm gonna do, I've got my rift, so I'm gonna move to the back of the map, right behind this box, which I can block any of the overload or sniper shots. But I can see the barrier. So I'm gonna take the barrier out. There you go. Now, I've said this before in videos with the barrier. Uh, I'm just going to go back inside. With the barrier, 
when when you when the barrier gets when you break his shield, he'll kind of look up into the air. His crit point isn't in the center then. When he goes up, when he looks up into the air, his crit point is at the bottom of that kind of. You'll see me aiming at it a couple of times. It's at the bottom part of that circle. So don't don't try and hit the middle of the barrier, champion. Uh, I should also take while I'm taking this barrier while I'm taking this overload out in these uh, shielded shanks. I should also mention that uh, I am as sick as a dog, which you might be able to hear in my voice, which is why I didn't really give the GM a solo go last week. And depending on how I feel this week, because it's, it's kind of difficult to focus when when your eyes are stinging from looking at a screen. This this master didn't take too much to do, to be fair. It, it was pretty easy. Uh, but we'll see how it goes with this week. Uh so I'm, I'm hoping to give this GM a go, but as long as I'm still feeling like kind of under the weather, I doubt I'm really going to focus on it. I'm just going to focus on trying to get better. I've been unwell now for, it seems like, years. Uh, well, this is the symptoms coming out, but, but enough of that. I'm, it's just in case you hear it in my voice. So once you take those two overloads out, push over to this right-hand side. Now, I do it kind of one way here. Once I beat this, I took a friend of mine through to get him his 100k. What I've done with my friends, you'll see here, once you break this shield, you're going to get a ton of invisibles. I just popped my Chaos Reach when I was with my buddy and just cleared all of those invisibles out. So that's probably the way to go. You're also going to get these Explorers. So you take the two there and then you go to the other side and take the two from the other side. You're also going to have some Sniper Shanks. And now I've got a ton of invisibles out here, which if I had a Chaos Reached, I wouldn't have had any. Just be careful with these marauders. Don't don't really get into too much of a a battle with them. Try and uh, try and get them to group up if you can. There's still more out there. I know I've got those sniper shanks. There we go. That's both of them down. I would suggest as soon as you can, pr you know, kind of prioritize those sniper shanks because they do obviously a lot of damage. Now you see there, if, if I had just Chaos Reach, those invisibles would be gone. And the great thing is, because of the burn on on the bow, it seems like they're less likely to regenerate that area of, area of effect, as I've already touched upon, will stop them as well. He's ducked down low enough that... Uh, he ducked down low enough that I couldn't hit him, so... I've, 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 uh, I've conceded that I'll probably have to start him from scratch again. So what I'm going to do, I didn't want to push out too far because I didn't know what marauders were around. But it seems like I could be clear of them. So what I normally would do, I, I'm going to take him from here. But what I would normally do is go to the bottom of the stairs over the other side on the left hand side. And... Again, I've, I've said about that. I've said about that area of effect. If you can keep timing that shot correctly, the area of effect damage that you put on uh, will stop an overload. When you get that shot perfect, it explodes and affects, as you've seen, other ads in the area. That explosion, if there's multiple overloads, that explosion that covers them, the rest of them with that void damage, that will stop one as well, as you will see further on, because there's three all bunched together later on. And the area of effect that I'm putting on, that explosion that I'm sending out from that crit, it just multiply keeps stopping the, the overload champions. So as I say, just keep timing your shot, keep putting that area of effect on. If you're far enough away, now you see I'm not actually far enough away. If I had been far enough away, uh, I would have got Sunder and Glare, which basically would have killed him faster. So now we're on to the part that I died at, which is the arc part. The reason I died, and you'll see it, is because I got caught in the arc kind of thing, but I slammed the orb. The key here is you need to slam the orb. Slamming the orb, regardless if you die after you slam the orb, it will still tell you you've completed this part. 
This is always a tricky little one. I've got my, I don't have, I don't think I've got bad mobility. It's just not really high, but the wrong jump because I always put on my Warlock. I always put my jump for more control. You'll see here what happens here is took it a little bit early. Should have waited for that right hand side. Jump and boost. Jump and boost. And then I got hit there. And as I come through here, that lightning hit me. It melted me, but I got arc enemy discharged. So I'm just... I actually thought... I'm not doing that again. I'll start it from scratch. Because this, this literally was the first time I got... It was my second run, but it was the first the first run I got killed by a invisible marauder. So this is my second run. And then I was like, when it put me back here, I was like, oh, well, just see if I can find a different way to do this part. And as you can see... I completed this part so it's, it is the same run. So now, what we've got here is a concophony, that's a word for you, of death. <laughs> There's, there are so many different types of ads in here. What I like to do is just clear angles. So I cleared out the first, first port of ads that could see me. I cleared those out. They were the ones straight over across from me. Then slightly to the right and then right round to the right. You can see there the explosions that you're going to create from the shanks uh, they, they, they are going to be really good for multi-kills. Now what I'm going to do now is I've broke that shield but you can see there I've got sniper shanks I'm going to get other ads pushing me. It is worthwhile not bothering with any champions until you can get out safely. You see that? Marauders, man, they are such a nightmare. So I'll just try and take any any shields out. There's another Marauder. Marauder's gone. Now we want to take the barrier out. And the barrier will always stay up the back. Put a couple of shots on them. And you see there where I'm aiming? I'm trying to aim at the bottom of the circle. Kind of difficult sometimes when the overloads are putting it on you. It's the bottom ring of that middle circle. So now once the bar now that the barrier's down, we can go after one of the overloads. Just want to keep making sure I'm getting. I'm getting uh, good shots on the, on the barrier. It was unfortunate that I started damaging them and then more ads came. So now I'm doing it from here. But we want to take one of those barriers out. Just kind of the kind of keyword, or, or it's, it's an understated part of doing any of these activities uh, solo, is survivability. If you're not. It, it, if, if, if you're pushing, if you're pushing ads, and they push back, and you find yourself in a position that, that is unattainable, that you can't keep hold that position safely, push back, reset the whole fight. You'd want to stay alive before you want to complete it. You can't complete it if you're not staying alive. Now, this, this is, you'll give it your first chance, your first uh, thingy here of... The area of effect really, you can see there, I was attacking one, one of the overloads. And the area of effect was, was, uh, was, was stunning the other one. And there we go. That's this section clear. So you've got one more section, then the boss, easy peasy. Uh, just collect your ammunition. You can see I'm trying not to burn heavy too much. And, uh, yep, this next section, snipers are going to be the thing, barrier, but there's a whole heap of overloads. The great thing about these overloads, though, is they're around the corner to the left of where we are now. So what I'm going to do is just kind of try and clear clear myself a view on this barrier. Now, I had, I had a few issues with this barrier, as you'll see. Because what I'd done, stupidly, was I tried to just take the barrier out straight away. And the barrier runs away. So just try and take out, when you break down the barrier shield, try and take the snipers.
Now, the best actual place to take this barrier from is on the left. Because this angle here, the snipers don't have that angle. Broke his shield. To reload. Again, disappeared. Now I've got five shots. That's really all I need, but now I've decided I'm going to try and take some of these snipers before the barrier gets gets back into position. Now, there is special up there, so what I'm going to do is I've, I've, I threw a grenade. What I'm going to do... You can see I can't, I can't really see the, the, what's happening on the left. What I'm going to do is, is try and get... The, the champion to move far enough away that he can't shield these can't shield all these enemies this side so what I'm going to do is break his shield can't shoot at me now now I'm going to clear some of these ads I'll put more on him, he's going to run away and now I'm going to go and get that special and just get it, you see there's a ton of ads around the corner but now I've got enough to safely take out Take out the barrier. Swap to the other side. I would swap to the other side. And take him from here. Now the snipers don't have an angle. You see where I'm hit, hitting that barrier? That is where you hit it. Bottom of that circle when he when he's stunned. That is his new crit point. So there's no ads up top. But there is ads around the corner here. You can see. And now once we hit one barrier. The... the the area of effect. If any ads pop out, just just take them out with, with 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 the bow. But you'll see here this area of effect. It's just so good for barriers because the, it'll constantly it'll kill any kind of smaller ads around. But but the burn will stop the other overloads and just keep nipping out. Still try and get that crit hit. You can, you can see. I think you might have seen there. That ad was regenerating that barrier over overload champion, even though it was being damaged, still regenerating its health. I don't know why overloads do that. While you're damaging them, sometimes they can just regenerate health. It's it's frustrating, something we just got to deal with. But I'm just just gonna keep whittling them down. He's dead. All the ads are dead now. I just need to pick up some primary. A bit of special. I'm good for heavy because I haven't really been using it too much. And uh, more, more, prim more primary, more special. And now we're at the boss, which is the easiest part of the strike. Very, very simple. We've got Chaos Reach. I didn't use it there. I could have. I kept it for the boss. It's worthwhile having Chaos Reach when you get here. Now, when you drop down, you're going to get a server at each side and two solar shielded chanks. So we're just going to go to the right, break this shield, and just put a bit of damage on. If I need to pull my sniper out, I can. And then take out these two shanks. Now, it's two shots with this machine gun takes the shank out. Right? So, and because it's. Uh, it's very easy to to just single fire this. So you see we've got, actually got three on that side. So now that they're all down, this is going to be point one of attack. It's here. When the boss comes out, now you're going to get shanks here and stuff, but when the boss comes out, we're going to chaos reach the boss. You'll see how much damage. Look at, just look at the damage he's taken from the chaos reach. First health... First health bar gone. He's got four, but that's the first health bar gone. Now what I'm going to do is just try and get multiple breaks to save ammo. You now we've got a barrier. Barrier will go down pretty quickly. And you see there the bottom part, bottom part, part of the circle is his, is his crit point. Now the boss is going to come out. I'm still going to go down here and get the special. He will get a hit on me. I didn't have to go and get the special, but I did. And now, basically, he's just going to stay there. His crit point 
when he's still got the sniper out, because he goes through three phases, so he's got the, the first two phases, he's here with a solar sniper. Uh, so the gun on, right up at the top. Uh, and the four eight, the four legs are are the same same as Tanix in the raid. It's four kind of points on the other sides are his crit points. And then he'll go void, which will be his eyes, I suppose. His eye visor will be his uh, crit point. And then when he goes arc, he's exposed part of his engine, if you like. It's a big solar, big arc part of his engine. It's a big arc mass. That will be his crit point. But when we get to that point where he goes into his arc phase, we're going to put a couple of shots on him and just hit him with chaos, and that will kill him. So... Grenade, just try the kind of the kind of key for this first section. Your first two health bars, the halfway to get the boss to halfway dead. You'll you'll do from here in his arc form. Now I call him his arc form because his damage is arc. And just make sure none of these shanks get. You don't really want the shanks to be building up. I'm just doing that area of effect attack. Just keep constantly getting the burn. Just make sure that none of these these ads kind of build up. Sometimes the shanks are a little bit crazy. They like you hit them and they go flying up in the air for no reason. You can put you can put sniper shots on if you want. I was just having a bit of fun here with the bow, to be fair, and 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 it really does a, a good bit of damage. Now when he goes. When he goes this time, you're going to get two Exploders and two Snipers. You know, Exploders will come from down where he is now. And the Snipers will come from up to the right. So I'll just make sure I take those down. And just, like, come in here to see if there's any ammo. So there's one Exploder. One will be on the left. And then your snipers. The snipers are already out. I missed the snipers. There they are at the top. But it wasn't a big deal. So what I'm going to do is take the barrier. For some reason, I'm allowing my machine gun to reload. I remembered that it had auto loading holster and put it away. Now what I'm going to do is just break his shield and then take these shanks out so I can safely take the, the champion. I will go and get ammo in a minute, should I need it. And then once once we take this champion, then we're going to switch to the left-hand side, and the boss will go into his void phase. Now this is this will be the last champion we get. I've broke his shield. I just want any ammo that's lying about. Come back through here. And now I need to break his shield again. I'm not too bored about the fact he regenerated because... He does go down pretty quickly from crits. And there we go. And now I switch sides. Now what's going to happen is the boss is going to go into his void section. And that is the reason why the boss hasn't come out is because there's one more shank left up. The boss will not come out until all the ads in the area are dead. As you can see, I can't shoot worth my salt. Uh, the boss is now out. Uh, the saber, saber two retracts the heat sinks, which are these, and this is your cover. Now what you're going to get is exploders. So what I'm going to do, I probably could have done this faster, but this is it safer. There will come a point where all the exploders stop coming out. That's the point I was trying to get to. I didn't really want to attack the boss, have the boss come in when there were exploders, because solar damage and elemental damage, uh, environmental damage is increased, and I interpreted interpreted that as if they were to explode next to me, it would be a one-hit kill. So I didn't really want to go through all this just to have an exploder ruin it. Nearly got crept up on there. I think I actually, I think I let that one come up. I think he was outside and I, I just let him come up. Just 
All we're doing at the moment is making sure that those shanks go down. Uh, because I say there will come a point where they stop coming out. Now, the boss will change to his arc. Once you take him out, once you take this health bar down. As I say, we're not we're not scoring any points now because we've went over the half hour mark. And just put a couple of shots on just to keep the boss still coming down. We don't want these don't want these shanks not coming out, and we still have to do all the damage to the boss. But we don't want to take him past this the health bar that he's in. And just if you're unsure whether they've whether they'll come any more coming out, I'm just checking to make sure there's none hiding around here. If you're unsure, don't put a heap of damage on. Just like put some bow shots onto the boss, just to keep them coming down. I think there's one more. I think that might be it now. So I'm just gonna put a couple of snipes just to get them close. And then what's going to happen is, from where we are now, what we're going to do is, when we break him into his last health bar, I'm going to put the rest, I'm going to make sure that I get him to the point where it's one snipe will get him into his last section. I've reloaded my sniper now, so it'll be one snipe to get him into his arc uh, form. Then I'll put the other three snipes into him, put my rift down, and then chaos reach him. Now that's me being ultra safe because the chaos reach as we've seen in the first part would probably just melt him anyway i just didn't want to take the chance because he's in a different form and i wasn't sure whether it would do as much damage right now but you can see here he is like super close so what i'm gonna do is put a shot into him and i'm gonna get my sniper out one shot and then as you can see i get a couple of crits here Put the rift down, and then just melt them. Now the key, I'm chaos reaching him from within the way the the rift, so he kind of pulses. So every time he pulsed, he took health off me, but then I regenerated it. And there you go, guys. That is a solo master uh, fallen saber strike. Pretty straightforward, and it's a chaos reach. First time chaos reach has been on the channel. I probably will use it more often because I really enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for all the support, guys. I hope you do enjoy this. I hope this uh, has been an interesting run and it motivates you guys to maybe give it a go. Take it easy and I will see you guys in the next video.